It's pretty obvious that the world that we are living today is constantly changing. So what are the advantages of owning an electric car today? Watch this video till the end to find out. And by the way, if it's your first time here and you would like to learn more about cars and how they work, then you should consider subscribing. So in this video, I will explain you 5 reasons why electric cars are better than conventional cars powered by gasoline or diesel engines. Number 5. Smart Access It's true that even today, conventional cars powered by diesel or gasoline engines, for example the BMW 7 series offers a smart access which allows you to start or move the car remotely. But not all conventional cars have that feature. In electric cars, I strongly believe that most of them if not all of them will have smart access. If the car runs on pure electricity, you will have uh, 4G connectivity on your car and you can basically download the app from the manufacturer and connect to it via your smartphone. Tesla has for example such an app which basically allows you to summon the car or if you want let's say to uh, go to the car within 20 minutes and you just uh, preheat or defreeze the car before you actually get into it and the app also tells you how much battery you have left in percentage and it also tells you the remaining miles. So it's pretty awesome to have this smart access feature on all electric cars. Number 4. Zero emissions. Yeah I know diesel fanboys go and smash that dislike button if you don't like what you're hearing. Electric cars have zero emissions. And if you're currently owning a gasoline or a diesel engine on your car, you are polluting. And this is the main reason why we are shifting to electric cars. They are less, way less pollutant. It's true that we, when we produce the batteries, the waste from producing those batteries are harmful to the environment. But if we consider driving for over 200,000 kilometers an electric car and a conventional car on the long run, the electric vehicle would be far less pollutant. So without a doubt, having zero emissions from electric vehicles really helps a lot. Imagine living in Beijing or Bucharest in Romania where I live or in London, New York, etc. in an extremely busy city with over 500,000 or 1 million cars uh, driving around town, you'll start choking, you'll, you'll feel uh, totally wasted, you'll feel tired, you'll feel the noxious gases around you. Uh, I'm telling you this because I'm currently living in a city which has 100,000 uh, inhabitants and when I go to Bucharest which has around 3 million inhabitants or so, I feel tired, exhausted, I have headaches and the air feels so polluted. So even if you don't think that electric cars are great while you drive in the city, they really are. Imagine having a clean city. For people who live in a busy city, this is extremely helpful. And that's why most countries and most governments are currently promoting and encouraging people to purchase brand new electric cars. So anyways, having zero emissions it's cool, it's awesome, it's, it's great for busy cities and it's great for the environment as a whole. Number 3. It's cheap to run. Uh, I don't know about you guys in the United States, but here in Europe, fuel is more expensive than in the United States. In Romania and around Europe, we pay around 1.3 1.4 euros per liter, which is around double compared to the price of gasoline and diesel in the United States. So let's say you purchase an electric car. The average cost of running an electric car, depending on the state or country where you live in, is from 1.5 to 4 dollars per 100 kilometers. It can also be two times less expensive to run on electricity compared to running on LPG if you have an LPG system installed on your gasoline car. In the United States, I think, again, it's two to three times less expensive to drive on electricity compared to gasoline. I know the inconvenience stays in the charging times, but if you have a house, a home, you don't live in a flat with uh, dozens of other people, you might actually have an advantage to charge your car overnight. So for those who have a house, it's really, really convenient. And imagine 
installing solar panels or solar tiles directly from Tesla actually. I've seen that Tesla currently sells solar tiles, solar panels directly from their factory. Most solar panels are guaranteed 25 years and such an investment uh, will be anywhere from two to five thousand dollars to install on your home and basically during summer times you will drive for free. Yeah, if you install solar panels on your home and you have an electric car, you basically drive for free. All you need is to purchase an electric car and then to install the solar panels, which aren't too expensive in my opinion. Plus imagine that you are using solar energy which is green and efficient. So as a whole, as a, as a short summary of this checkpoint, running on pure electricity is way cheaper compared to gasoline or diesel. The, the disadvantage of having an electric car is the upfront cost, the main purchase price and after that you will start saving money. Number two, electric cars are less complex. And that's right, even if you may think that they're way complicated compared to conventional cars, they're actually more simple. You don't have a transmission, you don't have a PCM, you don't have a TCM, you don't have a timing belt, you don't have a timing chain, you don't have camshafts, you don't have valves, you don't have... All you need to care about when you have an electric car is to make sure that you have brand new tires, brand new brake pads, uh, or if they're in good condition, break this. And as far as lightning conditions for the headlamps, uh, tail lights, they're LEDs right now and they, they will last for like five, 10 years or so. So basically you can purchase brand new tires, you can purchase brand new brake pads and brake discs, and you can head over around Europe or around the United States and drive for like 20,000 miles or 50,000 kilometers without worrying a bit about anything. The batteries are also guaranteed to run for about 10 years, so no concern about that at all. The transmission is also, it's not actually a transmission, it's a, it's a one-speed automatic attached directly to the electric motors and basically you have uh, less components. That, that makes the car way easier, but the batteries are super heavy, so mm, I think like 70% of the weight of the car is uh, comes from batteries. So as a whole, electric cars are way less complex. And number one, which is my favorite, you have instant power and instant torque. Now, even if we have instant power and instant torque, theoretically, it's, it's at 100%. Imagine turning up a light bulb, it's instant, it goes from 0 to 100% in like a few milliseconds, so basically it's instant. So basically a Tesla for example uh, puts to the ground the maximum power and torque before this, the wheels start to slip. It's really really well calculated, so you, do, you won't have 700 horsepower and like 800 newton meters of torque instantly, you will have 300 400 and it, it goes up to the maximum point but the response of the throttle compared to gasoline and diesel engines is instant if you didn't watch my previous videos on this topic and other videos on youtube a tesla model s outruns a lamborghini huracan from zero to like 140 kilometers per hour because the power delivery is instant it's much faster and of course, after that speed, the Huracan takes the lead, but before that, it's it's amazing. And that's what I really love about electric cars. You have instant power and instant torque at any given moment. You don't have to rev the engine, you don't have to downshift, you don't have to upshift, you don't ha you, you have to forget about that. It's really amazing to have that in a car. At any given time, push the throttle and there you go, you're off. Right now, electric cars are a bit more expensive compared to conventional cars, but trust me, in the future, prices will drop and when they will be affordable enough, I will personally buy an electric car. Even if I love the roar of a V8 and I love Lamborghini and I love sports cars, at some point, we will all have electric cars. I know you hate what I'm saying, but that's the truth. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about electric cars or if I missed any other points. 
And as always, thank you for watching, subscribe if you haven't already for more automotive content, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.